Hi, so today I'm going to wrap up all the books that I read in March. I had a good reading month in March. I read five, six, six books and two novellas and I basically loved all of them. Like I think I gave all of them four or five out of five. So really great reading month. Let me tell you about the books. The first book I read in March is this book right here. This is Chris by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series and I loved it just as I loved all the other books, um, Cinder and Scarlet. This was great. This is the one about Rapunzel and it was really awesome. I gave it a 5 out of 5 and I can't wait for Winter which is the final book. I can't wait. It's coming out next year. Such a long wait. Winter is coming. The next book I read in March is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. This is my first Roll Rowell book and I loved it so much. It was amazing. It just, it was incredibly well written and just beautiful and so just amazing and I loved it so much and just such a great book and I can't wait to read all of the rest of Rainbow Rowell's books and definitely so worth the hype. Everyone just praises her so much and all her books are said to be so amazing and they are. They definitely, this is, if this is what the rest of her books are like then just I am in for a treat. I can't wait to read the rest of the books that she's written and I just love it. I love her so much as an author already. I follow her on Twitter. You should follow her on Twitter. She is so hilarious and so awesome. But yeah, I love this book, 5 out of 5. The next book I read in March is this. This is Serafina by Rachel Hartman and I love this one as well. I also give this 5 out of 5. This one has dragons so it's so amazing and I like the way the dragons are portrayed in this book. It's very interesting and I really like just the whole dragon lore thing and how it worked and I loved it so much and the main character of this book was so interesting and just so different but in like a, such a subtle way from other main characters like for instance you know how a lot of main characters are said to be really smart but then they do like stupid things she is really smart the main character's name is what's her character what's her name again her name is Serafina I had to actually look for that. Her name is Serafina. Wow. Um, I had like a brain meltdown there or something. But yeah, the main character Serafina is like described as smart and she actually is smart and she makes like smart decisions. It was so refreshing to like have a character who was actually smart act smart. Um, but yes, I really love this book and I loved the dragons so much and just everything to do with this book. So yes, 5 out of 5. The next book I read is The Giver by Lois Lowry and I read this basically just because the trailer come out, came out this month and yeah, I did a reaction to the trailer if you want to see it. I will link it in the description box below. I was kind of disappointed with the trailer but I'm still excited for the movie and I really, really love the book so much. It is such a simply written book but it's so incredible and so beautiful and it just stays with you like I'm still thinking about The Giver and what it was about and how it affected me it's such a great book and I can't believe that it took this long for me to read it but yes loved it so much and definitely looking forward to the movie even though I was kind of disappointed by the trailer. The next book I read is The Snow Child by Eo and Ivy. This book has been on my TBR list for such a long time I've been wanting to read this ever since I picked it up and I just I love this book so much like I love the the snowflakes and just the details and just it's so simple yet so beautiful. It is based on a Russian fairy tale about a snow child, a snow girl who comes out every winter to a old couple who are barren and she just brings with her magic and life and love and it's just it's so amazingly well written. It just it made me so happy. I was reading this in the train one day and I almost started crying in the train. The train was literally so full and I almost started crying. Um, just because of how sweet this was, like something, not even like sad was happening, something just sweet and just so like, I was just like, ah, it just, it was so, such a good book. The final book I read in this month is uh, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, and I actually started this book last year. I read, I like looked at my Goodreads to see how I had read it last year. I read it for one day last year, and I read it for one day this year, and I finished it. So in those two days, five months apart, I finished this book. Um, I, I was a little bit, I liked the book, it is definitely a John Green book, um, and that is written really really well, and the characters are really interesting and intelligent, um, but I just didn't care that much. I was a little bit bored, not necessarily bored, I just felt detached from the story, and I, I just didn't connect with it. I didn't get anything out of the story, or get, didn't get that much out of the story, so I gave it 3 out of 5. And the two novellas that I read this month, the first one is The Little Android, which is part of the Lunar Chronicle series by Marissa Meyer, and The Little Android is about 
um, A Little Android. It's based on the fairy tale of The Little Mermaid. Um, it's a very loosely based, more loosely based than like Cinder and Scarlet and Chris are based on their fairy tales. Um, but I still really liked it and there was an appearance by Cinder in it and I love Cinder, all things Cinder I just love. So I was really happy to see her in that. Um, and it gave you kind of like a closer look into the world of New Beijing, so, or into the city of New Beijing. Um, but yeah, I really liked it and I gave it 4 out of 5. And the second novella is also from the Lunar Chronicles by Merce Meyer and it is Carswell's Guide to Being Lucky. And if you've read Chris, then there is a heroic act that he does that is mentioned in, the, in that book that is kind of expanded in the um, novella. It's like what happened, like the horror act that's mentioned in Chris. Um, and yeah, I liked to see when he was younger and what he was like and kind of how things were back then. But yeah, it was really interesting to see him and I really like that short story novella thing as well and I gave that 4 to 5. The light is changing so much in this video. These are the physical books that I have and then there's also The Giver and the two novellas and I have done reviews on my blog for all of these books. Um, I think that The Snow Child and An Abundance of Catherine's reviews are coming this week but the rest of the reviews are already up. So if you want to see in detail what I thought about all the books that I mentioned in this video, then definitely go check out my blog, bookswithdon.blogspot.com.au. It's always linked in the description box below. And also, if you want to see what I think about books, then you can also check me out on Goodreads, which is also linked in the description box below. But yeah, that is my reading month for March. Um, I hope you had a great reading month. Tell me your favorite book for March if you want to in, this, in the comment section below. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye!